Ginkgo biloba, commonly known as the ginkgo tree or ginkgo plant, is a unique and ancient species of tree that belongs to the division Ginkgofeta. It is considered one of the oldest living tree species on Earth, with a history dating back over 270 million years. Ginkgo trees are often referred to as living fossils because they have remained relatively unchanged for millions of years. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the ginkgo plant. Ginkgo trees are recognized by their distinctive fan-shaped leaves, which are usually split into two lobes. The leaves turn a vibrant yellow in the fall, creating a stunning display of color. The female ginkgo tree produces seeds called the ginkgo nuts, or maidenhair tree seeds. seeds. Seeds have a strong odor, which some people find unpleasant, and are often removed from urban planting due to the smell. Ginkgo biloba has a long history of use in traditional Chinese medicine. Extracts from ginkgo leaves have been used for their potential. Medicinal properties, including improving cognitive function and circulation. However, the scientific evidence supporting these claims is mixed. Ginkgo trees are highly adaptable and can tolerate pollution pests and disease. They are commonly planted in urban areas and are known for their resilience in challenging environmental conditions. Ginkgo trees are the only living members of their division and have no close living relatives. Fossil records show that ginkgo trees were once widespread around the world, but today they are found primarily in China, where they are considered a symbol of longevity and resilience. Ginkgo trees are often planted as ornamental trees in parks and gardens due to their unique foliage and adaptability. They are also used in landscaping to provide shade and visual interest. Ginkgo biloba has attracted scientific interest not only for its potential medicinal properties, but also for its status as a living fossil. Studying ginkgo trees can provide insights into the evolution and biology of ancient plant species. In summary, ginkgo biloba, often referred to as the ginkgo plant, is an ancient tree. Species with distinctive fan-shaped leaves, cultural significance, and some potential medicinal uses. It is known for its resilience and adaptability in various environments. The sago palm, often referred to as the sago palm plant, is not a true palm tree, but rather a secad, which is a type of primitive and ancient plant. Sago palms are commonly grown as ornamental plants in gardens and as houseplants. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the sago palm. Sago palms have a palm-like appearance with a crown of feather-like, pinnate leaves that grow in a circular arrangement at the top of a thick, sturdy trunk. The leaves are dark green and can reach lengths of several feet. The trunk of the sago palm is typically covered in a coarse, fibrous material. Sago palms belong to the Secadaceae family and are not closely related to true palm trees. They are more closely related to ancient, non-flowering plants that have been around for millions of years. Sago palms are slow-growing plants, and it can take many years for them to reach maturity. They are known for their long lifespan, and some specimens can live for several centuries. Sago palms are doecious, meaning there are separate male and female plants. The female plants produce large cones that contain seeds, while the male plants produce cone-like structures filled with pollen. All parts of the sago palm, especially the seeds, also called sago nuts, are highly toxic if ingested by humans and animals. They contain a toxin called secocin, which can lead to severe gastrointestinal and liver problems if consumed. It's important to keep sago palms out of the reach of children and pets. Sago palms are popular as ornamental plants in tropical and subtropical regions. They are also used as houseplants in cooler climates, as they can tolerate indoor conditions when given proper care. Sago palms are relatively low maintenance once established. They prefer well-drained soil, bright, but indirect light, and regular watering. However, they can tolerate periods of drought. In landscaping, sago palms are often used for their decorative appearance and ability to add a tropical or exotic feel to gardens. They are also used in water efficient landscaping in some regions. In summary, the sago palm, despite its name, is not a true palm but a thick head. It is known for its palm-like appearance, slow growth, toxicity, and popularity as an ornamental plant in various settings. Care should be taken to ensure that sago palms are not ingested as they contain toxic compounds. The term melinjo plant most likely refers to Natum nemen, commonly known as melinjo or belinjo. It is a unique tropical plant that belongs to the Nepisi family. Melinjo is primarily grown in Southeast Asian countries and is known for its edible seeds and leaves. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the melinjo plant. The main edible part of the melinjo plant is its seeds, which are commonly used in various Southeast Asian cuisines. These seeds are small and flat, about the size of a fingernail, and are typically harvested from the female trees. The leaves of the melinjo plant are also edible and are used in some traditional dishes. They are dark green and have a unique flavor. In Indonesia, melinjo leaves are often used to make a popular dish called ignetum namon, or down melinja. Melinjo is a woody perennial and climbing plant that can reach heights of up to 15 meters. It typically grows in tropical rainforests and thrives in warm and humid climates. Melinjo is cultivated primarily for its edible seeds. It can be grown from seeds or propagated through stem cuttings. 
The plant requires well-drained soil and regular moisture for optimal growth. The seeds of the Melinjo plant are a good source of nutrients, including carbohydrates, protein, dietary fiber, and various vitamins and minerals. They are often used in traditional dishes as well as in modern cuisine for their nutritional value. Melinja seeds are used in a variety of dishes in Southeast Asian cuisines, including Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, and the Philippines. They are often roasted, boiled, or fried and can be used in soups, curries, and snacks. In some cultures, parts of the melinja plant, including the seeds and leaves, have been used in traditional medicine for various purposes, although scientific evidence supporting medicinal claims is limited. Beyond its culinary and potential medicinal uses, the melinja plant has limited industrial applications. Some communities used its wood for construction and handicraft. In summary, the melinja plant, or netum nemen, is a tropical climbing plant known for its edible seeds and leaves. It is commonly used in Southeast Asian cuisines and has some traditional medicinal uses. Cultivation of melinjo is primarily for its edible parts, and it is an important cultural and culinary ingredient in the regions where it is grown. The Oparana pine plant likely refers to Araucaria angustifolia, commonly known as the Parana pine or Brazilian pine. Araucaria angustifolia is a species of coniferous tree native to southern Brazil. It is a distinctive and economically important tree species, known for its large edible seeds and its use in construction and woodworking. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Parana pine. The piranha pine is a tall, evergreen tree with a straight trunk that can reach heights of up to 50 meters. The branches are arranged in whorls, and the tree has a pyramidal or conical crown. The leaves are needle-like about 2 3 can long, and are typically arranged in spirals along the branches. The seeds of the piranha pine are the most economically important part of the tree. They are large, edible, and have a mild, nutty flavor. Penheo is a traditional food source for many indigenous and local communities in southern Brazil. Piranha pine seeds have cultural significance and are used in various traditional dishes in Brazil. They can be roasted, boiled, or used in soups and stews. The harvesting and consumption of pineo are important seasonal activities in some regions. Araucaria angustifolia is listed as a vulnerable species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature due to habitat loss and overexploitation of its seeds and wood. Conservation efforts are in place to protect and preserve the species. The wood of the piranha pine is prized for its quality and has been used in construction, furniture making, and woodworking. It is known for its durability and attractive appearance. This tree species is native to the Atlantic forest region of Brazil, primarily in the states of Piranha, Santa Catarina, and Rio Grande do Sul. It grows in montane and subtropical forests and is often found in association with other native tree species. Piranha pine trees have a slow growth rate and can live for several centuries. They produce cones that contain the seeds. These cones take several years to mature, and the seeds are typically dispersed by animals. The piranha pine plays a role in the ecology of the Atlantic forest ecosystem and provides habitat and food for various wildlife species. In summary, the piranha pine, or Araucaria angustifolia, is a large coniferous tree native to southern Brazil. It is known for its edible seeds, cultural significance, and use in construction and woodworking. Conservation efforts are underway to protect this vulnerable species and its habitat. Monterey pine, scientifically known as Pinus radiata, is a species of pine trees. Native to the central coast of California, in the United States, and a small region in Beta, California, Mexico. It is a fast-growing evergreen tree known for its adaptability, valuable wood, and its role in commercial forestry. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Monterey pine. Monterey pine is a medium-sized to large evergreen tree that typically reaches heights of 80 to 130 feet or more. It has a straight trunk and an open, broadly conical crown. The needles of Pinus radiata are needle-like slender and measure about 3 to 5 inches in length. They are typically dark green and are arranged in clusters of three needles per fascicle. Monterey pine produces oval to cylindrical cones that are typically 3 to 5 inches long. The cones have scales that are armed with small prickles. The bark of Monterey pine is thick, deeply furrowed, and reddish-brown to grayish-brown in color. This pine species is native to a variety of habitats along the central coast of California, including coastal areas, hills, and valleys. It thrives in a Mediterranean climate with mild, wet winters and warm, dry summers. Monterey pine wood is highly valued for its quality and versatility. It is used in construction, furniture making, and a wide range of other applications. It is known for its straight grain, fine texture, and strength. Monterey pine is one of the most important timber resources in California and is used extensively in commercial forestry. It is also used in the production of wood products, such as plywood and pulpwood. Due to its fast growth and adaptability, Monterey pine is often planted in forestry plantations. Silvicultural practices, including planting, thinning, and pruning, are used to manage and maximize timber production. Conservation efforts may focus on sustainable forestry practices and the protection 
of natural Monterey pine populations, especially in regions where it is at risk due to habitat destruction. Monterey pine is sometimes planted as an ornamental tree in gardens and landscapes. It is appreciated for its rapid growth and attractive appearance. Monterey pine forests provide habitat for various wildlife species, including birds, squirrels, and deer. The seeds and foliage are an important food source for many animals. In Summary Pinus radiata, the Monterey pine is a fast-growing and economically important pine species native to the central coast of California. It is valued for its high-quality wood, adaptability to different environments, and contribution to commercial forestry. This tree species plays a significant role in supporting both the economy and ecosystems of the region where it is found. Enoki cypress, scientifically known as Tamesiparis obtusa, is a species of coniferous tree native to Japan. It is a popular ornamental tree known for its distinctive appearance, aromatic wood, and various uses in landscaping and traditional Japanese culture. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Hinoki cypress. Hinoki cypress is a medium-sized to large evergreen tree that typically reaches heights of 35 to 50 feet. It has a conical or pyramidal shape and dark green foliage. The leaves are scale-like and arranged in flattened sprays. The wood of the Hinoki cypress is highly prized for its pleasant, lemony fragrance. It is often used in construction, especially for building temples, shrines, and traditional Japanese architecture. The scent of Hinoki wood is known to have a calming effect and is used in aromatherapy. Hinoki cypress has deep cultural and historical significance in Japan. It has been used in the construction of some of the countries. Most famous buildings, including temples, palaces, and traditional tea houses. Its association with Japanese culture extends to its use in gardens and bonsai cultivation. Enoki cypress is a popular choice for ornamental landscaping in various parts of the world, not just Japan. Its elegant appearance, compact growth habit, and adaptability to pruning make it a sought-after choice for hedges, topiaries, and garden specimens. There are several cultivars of Hinoki cypress available, each with slightly different characteristics in terms of size, color, and growth habit. Some are compact and suitable for smaller gardens, while others can grow into larger trees. Hinoki cypress is relatively low maintenance, but benefits from regular pruning to maintain its shape and size. It prefers well-drained soil and can tolerate partial to full sunlight. This tree is generally resistant to many common pests and diseases, making it a hardy choice for gardeners. Due to its small scale-like leaves and graceful appearance, Hinoki cypress is a favorite choice for bonsai enthusiasts. Cultivating Hinoki cypress bonsai trees requires skill and patience but can result in stunning miniature trees. In summary, Hinoki cypress is an evergreen tree native to Japan. Known for its attractive appearance, aromatic wood, and cultural significance, it is widely used in landscaping traditional Japanese architecture and bonsai cultivation, making it a notable and cherished plant in various contexts. Penis sylvestris, commonly known as the Scots pine, is a species of coniferous tree that is native to Europe and Asia. It is one of the most widely distributed pine species in the world and is known for its economic and ecological importance. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Pinus sylvestris. Scots pine is a medium to large sized tree that can reach heights of 66 to 115 feet or more. It has a straight trunk with reddish brown to orange brown bark that becomes scaly as the tree matures. The needles are long about 1.5 to 3 inches, slender, and typically arranged in pairs. The cones of Pinus sylvestris are small, void to cylindrical in shape, and typically measure 1 to 2 inches in length. They have a brown color and are often curved. Stutz pine has a vast natural range that extends from Western Europe across Northern Asia to Eastern Siberia. It is also found in some parts of North America, where it has been introduced. The wood of Scots pine is highly valued for its versatility, and is used in a wide range of applications including construction, furniture making, pulp and paper production, and as a source of timber. It is considered one of the most economically important timber species in Europe. Scots pine forests provide habitat for a variety of wildlife species, including birds, mammals, and insects. The tree's needles and seeds are important food sources for various animals. In many European countries, the Scots pine holds cultural and symbolic significance. It is the national tree of Scotland and is associated with traditional folklore and legends. Scots pine is a hardy and adaptable tree species that can grow in a range of soil types and climates from temperate to subarctic regions. It is often used in reforestation and afforestation projects. The seeds of Pinus sylvestris are edible and can be consumed, although they are smaller and less commonly harvested than the seeds of some other pine species. While Scots pine is not currently considered a globally threatened species, some local populations may be at risk due to factors such as habitat loss, climate change, and pests. In summary, Pinus sylvestris, or the Scots pine, is a widespread and economically valuable coniferous tree species known for its timber, ecological importance, and cultural significance in Europe and beyond. 
It plays a crucial role in forest ecosystems and human economies across its natural range. The Coast Redwood, scientifically known as Sequoia sempervirens, is a majestic and towering tree species native to the coast of northern California and southern Oregon in the United States. Coast redwoods are among the tallest and oldest trees on Earth and are renowned for their impressive size, longevity, and ecological significance. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the coast redwood. Coast redwoods are the tallest trees in the world and can reach extraordinary heights, with some individuals exceeding 350 feet in height. The tallest known living coast redwood, named Hyperion, stands at around 379.7 feet. These trees have massive trunks that can measure up to 24 feet in diameter. Their impressive girth contributes to their overall size and volume. The needles of coast redwoods are flat, needle-like, and arranged in two rows along the branches. They are typically bright green and have a distinctive appearance. The cones of coast redwoods are relatively small, measuring about 1-2 inches in length. They are round and brown in color and contain seeds. Coast redwoods are primarily found in temperate rainforests along the Pacific coast of North America, where they thrive in the cool, moist, and foggy coastal climate. These forests are characterized by lush vegetation and high biodiversity. Coast redwoods are incredibly long-lived trees, with some individuals living for more than 2,000 years. They are considered ancient and are often referred to as living fossils. These trees have adapted to periodic wildfires that are common in their natural habitat. They have thick, fire-resistant bark that helps protect them from low-intensity fires, and they can sprout new growth from their base if the upper portion is damaged. Coast redwood forests provide essential habitat for a variety of wildlife species including birds, mammals, amphibians, and insects. The forest canopy also serves as a refuge for many epiphytic plants. Due to their historical logging and habitat loss, coast redwoods are now a protected species. Several old-growth coast redwood forests are preserved in state and national parks in California, such as Redwood National and State Parks and Mirror Woods National Monument. Efforts to protect and restore coast redwood forests include reforestation projects and sustainable forestry practices. Seedlings and young trees are planted to help ensure the future of these magnificent trees. In summary, the coast redwood is a towering and iconic tree species native to the Pacific coast of North America. These trees are known for their incredible size, longevity, and ecological importance in temperate rainforest ecosystems. They are now protected and conserved to ensure their survival for future generations. The Tesequoia glyptostroboides, commonly known as the Dawn Redwood, is a deciduous coniferous tree species. It is renowned for its unique combination of being a conifer that sheds its needles in the fall, similar to deciduous trees. Dawn Redwoods are native to China and were thought to be extinct in the wild until living specimens were discovered in the mid-20th century. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Tesequoia glyptostroboides. Dawn Redwoods are tall, straight trees that can reach heights of 100 to 200 feet or more in their natural habitat. They have a conical shape when young and develop a more columnar or spreading form as they mature. The leaves are needle-like arranged in opposite pairs and turns, reddish-brown before falling in the autumn, giving the tree its name, Dawn Redwood. The bark of Dawn Redwoods is reddish-brown and exfoliates in strips or plates as the tree ages, revealing a lighter, cinnamon-colored inner bark. Dawn Redwoods produce small, spherical cones that are about one inch in diameter. These cones contain seeds and are typically green when young, turning brown as they mature. In the wild, dawn redwoods are found in lowland and riparian forests in China. They grow in areas with ample water, such as along riverbanks and in wetlands. The discovery of living dawn redwoods in the mid-20th century in China was a significant botanical event. Prior to this discovery, the species was known only from fossils, and it was thought to have become extinct around 5 million years ago. Dawn redwoods have been widely cultivated around the world as ornamental trees due to their unique characteristics and attractive appearance. They are often planted in parks, gardens, and arboretums. One of the most striking features of dawn redwoods is their deciduous nature. In the fall, the tree's needles turn a beautiful reddish-brown color before dropping, creating a colorful autumn display. Dawn redwoods are adaptable to a range of soil types, as long as the soil is well-drained. They can tolerate wet soils and temporary flooding, making them suitable for riparian plantings. Although living dawn redwoods are no longer considered extinct in the wild, their natural populations are limited, and they are still considered a vulnerable species. Conservation efforts are in place to protect their remaining habitats. In summary, the Tesequoia glyptostroboides, or the dawn redwood, is a unique deciduous conifer native to China. It is known for its tall stature, reddish-brown fall foliage, and the remarkable story of its rediscovery. As a gliding fossil, the dawn redwoods are appreciated as ornamental trees and are conserved to ensure their survival in the wild. Panis densiflora, commonly known as the Japanese red pine or Japanese pine, is a species of pine tree native to eastern Asia, particularly Japan, Korea, and northeastern China. 
It is a versatile and widely cultivated tree with various uses in landscaping, forestry, and horticulture. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Pinus densiflora. Japanese red pine is a medium to large sized evergreen tree with an upright, pyramidal, or conical shape. It typically reaches heights of 50 to 100 feet. The needles are long about 2 to 4 inches slender and often twisted. They are typically arranged in pairs. The bark of Japanese red pine is reddish brown and becomes deeply furrowed as the tree matures, giving it a distinctive appearance. The cones of Pinus densiflora are relatively small, measuring about 1 to 2 inches in length. They are avoided egg-shaped and typically brown in color. This species is native to a wide range of habitats, from coastal areas to mountainous regions. It can tolerate a variety of soil types and is often found in mixed forests with other tree species. Japanese red pine has cultural and historical significance in Japan and in Korea. It has been used in traditional architecture, bonsai cultivation, and as a symbol of longevity and resilience. Japanese red pine is a popular choice for ornamental landscaping in various parts of the world. It is appreciated for its attractive appearance, distinctive bark, and tolerance of different soil conditions. It is often used as a specimen tree in parks and gardens. The wood of Japanese red pine is used in construction, carpentry, and woodworking. It is valued for its durability and attractive grain patterns. It is also used for making furniture, flooring, and wood products. Japanese red pine is a favored species among bonsai enthusiasts. Due to its elegant appearance and adaptability to bonsai cultivation techniques, Bonsai specimens of this species are highly prized for their beauty and symbolism. In some regions, Japanese red pine is planted for environmental purposes, including erosion control and reforestation efforts. Japanese red pine forests provide habitat and food for various wildlife species, including birds, mammals, and insects. In summary, Pinus densiflora, or the Japanese red pine, is an evergreen tree native to Eastern Asia. Known for its attractive appearance, cultural significance, and various uses in landscaping, forestry, and horticulture. It is appreciated for its wood, its role in traditional practices, like bonsai, and its adaptability to different environmental conditions. The English yew, scientifically known as Paxus baccata, is a coniferous tree native to Europe, including the British Isles. It is one of the most iconic and long-lived trees in Europe, and has a rich history of use in various cultural and horticultural contexts. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the English yew. The English yew is a slow-growing evergreen tree with a dense, dark green canopy. It has needle-like leaves that are arranged spirally on the branches. The bark is reddish-brown and often peels away in strips. Almost all parts of the English yew tree, including the seeds, called yew berries and foliage, are highly toxic to humans and many animals. The tree contains compounds known as taxins, which can be deadly if ingested. The English yew has a deep cultural and historical significance in Europe. It has been associated with various myths, legends, and religious practices. Yew trees are often found in churchyards, where they are sometimes referred to as churchyard yews, and are thought to symbolize immortality. English yews are known for their incredible longevity. Some specimens are estimated to be over 2,000 years old, making them among the oldest living trees in Europe. Despite their toxicity, English yews are popular ornamental trees in landscaping and gardening. They are often planted as hedges, topiaries, and specimen trees in parks, gardens, and formal landscapes. The fleshy red wire berries are produced by female English yew trees. While they are toxic to humans, they are an important food source for some birds, such as thrushes, and have a role in dispersing the seeds. The wood of the English yew is hard, fine-grained, and durable. It has been historically used for crafting longbows, and the tree's association with archery goes back centuries. While the English yew is highly toxic, compounds extracted from the tree. Bark have been used in the development of cancer-fighting drugs, including paclitaxel. In some areas, ancient yew trees are protected and conserved due to their historical and ecological significance. Efforts are made to ensure their survival and protect their habitat. In summary, the English yew is a slow-growing evergreen tree native to Europe, with a rich cultural history, remarkable longevity, and uses in landscaping and medicine. Despite its toxicity, it continues to hold a special place in European landscapes and traditions. The sea grape, scientifically known as Cacalova yubifera, is a tropical evergreen shrub or small tree native to coastal regions of the Caribbean, Central America, and parts of South Florida in the United States. It is renowned for its attractive foliage, clusters of grape-like fruit, and its role in coastal ecosystems. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the sea grape. Sea grape plants typically have large, round to elliptical-shaped leaves with a glossy, leathery texture. The leaves can measure up to 8 inches in diameter and are often dark green on the upper surface and silvery white or grayish on the lower surface, which helps reduce water loss through transpiration. Sea grape plants produce clusters of small, round fruits that resemble grapes, though they are not closely related to true grapes. The fruit changes in color as it ripens, starting green and progressing through various shades of red and purple. 
The fruit is edible and has a sweet tart flavor. It is commonly used to make jellies, jams, and beverages. Sea grape plants are well adapted to coastal environments and are often found growing along sandy shores and dunes. Their extensive root systems help stabilize sand and prevent erosion, making them important in coastal restoration efforts. These plants are highly salt tolerant and their ability to thrive in salt laden. Coastal environments is attributed to their specialized salt glands on the undersides of the leaves. These glands excrete excess salt, helping to maintain proper water balance within the plant. The fruit of the sea grape is a valuable food source for various wildlife species, including birds, turtles, and iguanas. The shade provided by the large leaves also offers refuge for small animals and nesting birds. Sea grape plants are cultivated for their ornamental value in tropical and subtropical landscapes. They can be used as hedges, windbreaks, or specimen plants in gardens and coastal properties. Sea grape plants are drought tolerant once established, but they benefit from regular watering during dry spells, especially when young. Pruning can help maintain a more compact and well-shaped sea grape plant, making it a popular choice for hedging and landscaping. Sea grapes can be propagated from seeds or cuttings, although they are relatively slow-growing. In some regions, sea grape habitats are protected due to their importance in preventing coastal erosion and supporting local wildlife. In summary, the sea grape is a coastal plant native to tropical and subtropical regions. It is valued for its attractive foliage, grape-like fruit, and ecological importance in stabilizing coastal dunes and providing habitat and food for wildlife. Additionally, it has ornamental and culinary uses in some cultures. Monotin pine is a general term that can refer to several species of pine trees that are commonly found in mountainous regions around the world. These species of pine trees are adapted to the challenging conditions of high altitudes. Environments, including colder temperatures, rugged terrain, and sometimes thin or rocky soils. Different types of mountain pine trees are found in various mountain ranges globally. Some of the common mountain pine species include Scots pine is found in mountainous regions of Europe, including the Alps and the Carpathian Mountains. It is a hardy and adaptable tree species known for its straight trunk and reddish brown bark. Scots pine is valued for its timber and is used in construction and woodworking. Eastern white pine is native to eastern North America and can be found in mountainous areas of the Appalachian Mountains and the northeastern United States. It is a tall and slender tree with soft, flexible needles and is the state tree of several of states. Ponderosa pine is found in the western United States, often at higher elevations in the Rocky Mountains and the Sierra Nevada. It is a large pine species with distinctive long needles and thick bark. Ponderosa pine wood is used for various purposes, including construction and furniture. Swiss stone pine is native to the Alps and other mountain ranges in Europe. It is a slow-growing pine with compact, dark green needles and oval cones. The seeds of Swiss stone pine are edible and used in some traditional European dishes. Lodgepole pine is widespread in western North America and is often found in mountainous regions like the Rocky Mountains and the Cascades. It is a versatile pine species with adaptations to different soil types and elevations. Limber pine is native to western North America and is known for its ability to grow at high altitudes, often in subalpine and in alpine ecosystems. It is a hardy and adaptable tree with flexible, twisted branches. These are just a few examples of mountain pine species, and there are many more pine species that inhabit mountainous regions worldwide. Each species has its unique characteristics and adaptations to thrive in these challenging environments. Mountain pines play essential ecological roles in these ecosystems, and they also have an economic and cultural significance for local communities. The Norway spruce, scientifically known as Pisiades, is a large and widely distributed evergreen conifer tree native to northern and central Europe. It is one of the most important and economically valuable forest tree species in Europe and is cultivated in other parts of the world as well. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Norway spruce. Norway spruce trees are tall and can reach heights of 60 to 200 feet or more depending on growing conditions. They have a conical to cylindrical shape with a straight trunk. The needles are needle-like about 0.5 to 1 inch long and are dark green, arranged fairly on the branches. The cones of the Norway spruce are cylindrical, pendulous, and measure 4 to 7 inches in length. They start out green and gradually turn brown as they mature. The cones contain seeds and are an important food source for various wildlife. The bark of young Norway spruce trees is thin, smooth, and grayish-brown, while older trees develop thicker, scaly bark that becomes reddish-brown. Norway spruce is a versatile tree species that grows in a wide range of forest types and soil conditions. It is commonly found in temperate and boreal forests throughout Europe and parts of Asia. Norway spruce is a valuable timber species and is used extensively in construction, woodworking, and the pulp and paper industry. It produces high-quality, straight-grained lumber with various applications. In many European cultures, 
Norway spruce trees are associated with Christmas traditions and are often used as Christmas trees. The practice of decorating and lighting a spruce tree for Christmas has historical roots in Europe. Norway spruce forests provide habitat for various wildlife species, including birds, mammals, and insects. The dense canopy and fallen needles create a unique microenvironment on the forest floor. Norway spruce is commonly planted in reforestation projects due to its rapid growth and adaptability to a range of conditions. It is often used to restore degraded forest lands. Norway spruce is sometimes planted as windbreaks and for landscaping purposes, especially in urban and suburban areas. Its dense foliage provides privacy and wind protection. Historically, resin extracted from Norway spruce trees was used in various products, including varnishes and traditional medicines. The tree also yields an essential oil with various applications. In summary, the Norway spruce is a large evergreen conifer native to Europe and parts of Asia. It is ecologically important, economically valuable, and culturally significant, playing various roles in forestry, wildlife habitat, and holiday traditions in Europe and beyond. The giant sequoia, scientifically known as sequoia dendron, Gigantium is one of the most massive and impressive tree species on Earth. It is native to a limited region in California's Sierra. Nevada Mountains, primarily in groves located in the western United States. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the giant sequoia. Giant sequoias are renowned for their extraordinary size. They are among the tallest trees in the world, with mature individuals often reaching heights of 250 to 300 feet or more. They also have massive trunks, with diameters exceeding 20 feet. These trees have some of the largest tree trunks in the world. Some giant sequoias are so wide that tunnels have been carved through them to accommodate vehicles. The General Sherman tree, one of the most famous giant sequoias, has the largest known trunk by volume of any living tree. The bark of giant sequoias is unique and contributes to their fire resistance. It is fibrous, ponzi, and reddish-brown in color. The thickness of the bark can exceed two feet, which helps protect the tree from wildfires. The leaves of giant sequoias are small and needle-like, measuring about 0.25 to 0.75 inch in length. They are arranged spirally on the branches. Giant sequoias produce relatively small egg-shaped cones that are about 1.5 to 2.5 inches long. These cones contain seeds and are typically brown in color. Giant sequoias are native to the western slopes of the Sierra Nevada Mountains in California. They thrive in montane and subalpine forests, often in groves with other coniferous tree species. Giant sequoias are incredibly long-lived trees and can live for over 3,000 years. Some of the oldest trees in the world are giant sequoias. These trees have adapted to frequent wildfires in their natural habitat. The thick bark provides insulation against fire, and their cones open in response to fire, releasing seeds and promoting regeneration. Giant sequoia forests provide habitat for various wildlife species, including birds, squirrels, and insects. The dead standing trees also provide habitat for cavity nesting birds. While giant sequoias are not currently listed as endangered, they are considered a species of concern due to their limited natural range and potential threats from climate change and fire suppression policies. Many giant sequoia groves are protected within national parks, such as Sequoia National Park and Yosemite National Park, and are popular destinations for tourists and outdoor enthusiasts. In summary, the giant sequoia is a massive and iconic tree species native to California's Sierra Nevada Mountains. It is known for its exceptional size, longevity, fire adaptations, and its role in supporting diverse ecosystems. Giant sequoias are treasured natural landmarks and are protected within national parks for future generations to appreciate. Saga circinalis, commonly known as the queen saga palm, is a species of saga native to tropical and subtropical regions of Asia and the South Pacific. Sagas are primitive, ancient plants that are often mistaken for palms or ferns that are a distinct group of plants with unique characteristics. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Saga circinalis. The queen sago palm is a cycad, and its appearance includes the following features. It has pinnately compound leaves, meaning that multiple leaflets are arranged along a central stalk. The leaflets are typically glossy, dark green, and lance-shaped with a slightly curved appearance. The trunk of the queen sago palm is thick, stout, and often covered in a layer of persistent leaf bases, giving it a textured appearance. Secus thorcinolis is a slow-growing plant, and it can take several years to reach a mature size. It forms a crown of feathery foliage at the top of its trunk. Like other cycads, Cycus sosinalis produces cones for reproduction. It is delicious, which means individual plants are either male or female. Male plants produce cone-like structures containing pollen, while female plants produce larger cones that contain seeds. Pollination in cycads is typically achieved by wind or insects. It's important to note that all parts of the queen saga palm are highly toxic if ingested. The plant contains neurotoxins called cycacin, which can be harmful to humans and animals. Caution should be exercised when handling or cultivating these plants. Despite their toxicity, 
queen sago palms are cultivated as ornamental plants in tropical and subtropical regions around the world. They are popular for their attractive fern-like appearance and can be used as landscape specimens for container plants. In some cultures, cycads like the queen sago palm have had traditional uses. For example, the seeds of certain cycad species were historically used as a food source by indigenous people after extensive processing to remove toxins. However, consumption of cycad seeds is risky and not recommended due to their toxicity. Some populations of cycads, circinalis, are threatened by habitat loss and overcollection. Conservation efforts are in place to protect these plants in their natural habitat. In summary, cycads, circinalis, the queen sago palm, is a slow-growing cycad native to tropical and subtropical regions of Asia and the South Pacific. It is cultivated for its ornamental value, although all parts of the plant are toxic and should be handled with care. Additionally, conservation efforts are in place to protect natural populations of this species. The Douglas fir, scientifically known as Pseudotsuga menzisi, is a coniferous tree species native to western North America. It is one of the most economically and ecologically important tree species in the region and is renowned for its tall stature, straight trunk, and valuable wood. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Douglas fir. Douglas fir trees are tall and can reach heights of 200 to 330 feet. They have a straight cylindrical trunk and branches that are often covered in short, needle-like leaves. The needles are typically dark green and radiate in all directions from the branches. Douglas fir cones are cylindrical in shape to measure of about 2 to 4 inches in length and have distinctive three-pronged bracts extending from each cone scale. The cones mature from green to brown as they age. The bark of young Douglas fir trees is smooth, gray, and often covered in resin-filled blisters. As the tree matures, the bark becomes thicker, rougher, and reddish-brown in color. Douglas fir is native to a wide range of habitats in western North America, including coastal forests, mountainous regions, and interior woodlands. It is a versatile species that can grow in various soil types and elevations. The wood of the Douglas fir is highly valued for its strength, durability, and versatility. It is used in construction for timber framing, flooring, plywood, and other applications. It is also used for pulp and paper production. Douglas fir forests provide habitat for a variety of wildlife species, including birds, mammals, and insects. The dense canopy and fallen needles create a unique ecosystem on the forest floor. Like many conifer species in the region, the Douglas fir has adaptations to cope with wildfires. Its thick bark provides insulation against fire damage, and its seeds are released and dispersed by fire. Douglas fir is commonly planted in reforestation, and afforestation projects due to its rapid growth in that level of wood. It is also used in agroforestry practices. Douglas fir can hybridize with other tree species, leading to the development of various hybrid varieties. One well-known hybrid is the Douglas fir larch hybrid, also known as larch Douglas. Douglas fir is not currently considered an endangered species, but conservation efforts are in place to protect its natural habitats and genetic diversity. In summary, the Douglas fir is a towering coniferous tree native to western North America. It is prized for its valuable wood, ecological importance, and adaptability to various environmental conditions. Douglas fir forests are significant in the region's ecosystems and economy. The European larch, scientifically known as Lyrix deciduous, is a deciduous coniferous tree native to the mountains of Central Europe. It is one of the few deciduous conifers, meaning that it sheds its needles in the fall like a deciduous tree, but is botanically a conifer. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the European larch. European larch trees have a distinctive appearance with soft, needle-like leaves that are bright green in the spring and summer and turn golden yellow before falling in the autumn. The needles are arranged in clusters or fascicles and are usually about one to two inches long. The bark of European larch trees is reddish brown to gray and becomes scaly and furrowed as the tree matures. Larch trees produce small woody cones that are typically less than two inches long. These cones contain seeds and are often reddish brown when mature. European larch trees are medium to large in size and can reach heights of 80 to 150 feet or more. European larch is native to montane and subalpine regions of Central Europe, where it thrives in cool, mountainous environments. It is often found in mixed forests with other conifers and deciduous trees. The wood of European larch is highly valued for its strength, durability, and resistance to decay. It is used in construction, including for timber framing outdoor applications, and as a source of high-quality lumber. European larch is cultivated as an ornamental tree in landscaping and horticulture. Its vibrant golden yellow fall color makes it a popular choice for parks and gardens. In some cultures, larch trees hold cultural and historical significance. They are sometimes associated with mountainous regions and are featured in folklore and traditions. Larch forests provide habitat for various wildlife species, including birds, mammals, and insects. The seeds of larch trees are an important food source for some wildlife. While European larch is not considered endangered, efforts are 
made to protect and manage its natural populations and maintain genetic diversity. In summary, the European larch is a deciduous conifer native to mountainous regions of Central Europe. It is valued for its unique combination of deciduous foliage, durable wood, and ornamental beauty. European larch forests are ecologically important and contribute to the biodiversity of montane ecosystems. Aetes alba, commonly known as the European silver fir, or simply silver. Fir is a large evergreen coniferous tree native to mountainous regions of Europe. It is a majestic tree known for its tall stature, pyramid-shaped crown, and valuable timber. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Aetes alba. European silver fir trees are tall and can reach heights of 130 to 200 feet or more. They have a conical to spire like crown with horizontal branches. The needles are needle-like about 1 to 1.5 inches long, dark green, and arranged spirally on the branches. The bark of European silver fir is smooth and grayish brown when young but becomes rough and fissured with age. The cones of the silver fir are cylindrical and measure of about 4 to 6 inches in length. They are typically green when young and turn brown as they mature. Each con scale has a bract that extends beyond the scale, giving the con a distinctive appearance. European silver fir is native to mountainous regions of Central and Southern Europe. It is often found in montane and subalpine forests, where it thrives in cool and humid climates. It is associated with other coniferous and deciduous tree species. The wood of European silver fir is highly prized for its quality, and is used in various applications, including construction, furniture making, and woodworking. It has a pale color with a straight grain and is relatively lightweight. Silver fir forests provide habitat for a variety of wildlife species, including birds, mammals, and insects. The seeds and foliage are important food sources for some wildlife. European silver fir has cultural and historical significance in several European countries and is sometimes associated with traditional folklore and practices. While European silver fir is not currently listed as endangered conservation, efforts are in place to protect its natural habitats and maintain genetic diversity. European silver fir is also cultivated as an ornamental tree in parks and gardens for its attractive appearance. In some area of these alba, the European silver fir is a majestic coniferous tree native to mountainous regions of Europe. It is valued for its tall stature, valuable timber, and role in forest ecosystems, while it faces some conservation challenges due to habitat loss and overexploitation. It continues to be an important tree species in European forests and landscape. Penis nigra, commonly known as the European black pine or Austrian, Pine is a species of pine tree native to southeastern Europe and western Asia. It is a hardy and adaptable evergreen conifer known for its dark green needles and distinctive pine cones. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Pinus nigra. European black pine trees are medium to large in size and typically reach heights of 30 to 130 feet. They have a conical to irregularly parallel shape. The needles are dark green slender and about 4 to 6 inches long. They are often found in pairs. The bark of European black pine trees is dark gray to blackish brown and develops deep furrows and ridges as the tree matures. The dark color of the bark is one of the reasons for its common name. The cones of Pinus nigra are ovoid to cylindrical in shape and measure about 2 to 3 inches in length. They are typically dark brown and have small curved spines on the scales. The cones contain seeds and are an important part of the tree's reproduction. European black pine is adaptable to a range of soil types and can be found in various habitats, including dry and rocky slopes mountainous regions, and coastal areas. It is well suited to both temperate and Mediterranean climates. The wood of European black pine is used in construction, woodworking, and pulp and paper production. It is valued for its strength and durability. The tree's needles, cones, and seeds provide food and habitat for various wildlife species, including birds, squirrels, and insects. European black pine has historical and cultural significance in the regions where it is native. It has been used in traditional practices, including timber production and resin extraction. While European black pine is not currently considered endangered, conservation efforts are in place to protect and manage its natural populations. European black pine is sometimes planted as an ornamental tree in landscaping and horticulture due to its attractive appearance and adaptability. In summary, Pinus nigra, the European black pine or Austrian pine, is a versatile coniferous tree native to southeastern Europe and western Asia. It is known for its dark green needles, distinctive cones, and adaptable nature, making it an important tree species for various purposes, including timber production and landscaping. Oriental arbor vitae, scientifically known as Duca orientalis, is a species of evergreen coniferous tree that is native to eastern Asia, particularly regions in China and Korea. It is a popular ornamental plant in landscaping due to its attractive appearance and adaptability to various growing conditions. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the oriental arbor vitae. Oriental arbor vitae is a medium-sized tree that typically reaches heights of 20 to 50 feet. It has a pyramidal to oval-shaped crown and densely branched foliage. 
The foliage of oriental arborvitae consists of small scale-like leaves that are arranged in opposite pairs along the branches. The leaves are typically dark green and have a pleasant fragrance when crushed. This tree produces small woody cones that are about 0.4 to 0.8 inches long. The cones are often found in pairs and contain seeds. The bark of oriental arborvitae is reddish brown and may exfoliate in thin strips or scales, revealing a lighter inner bark. Oriental arborvitae is adaptable to a range of soil types and growing conditions. It is commonly found in mixed forests, along river banks, and in hilly or mountainous regions of its native range. Oriental arborvitae is a popular choice for landscaping in many parts of the world due to its ornamental value. It is often used as a hedge plant screen or specimen tree in gardens and residential landscapes. In some cultures, oriental arborvitae is associated with symbolism and traditional uses. It may have cultural or spiritual significance in certain regions. Like other arborvitae species, oriental arborvitae produces a resin with a pleasant fragrance. This resin has been used historically in perfumes and scents and traditional medicines. Oriental arborvitae is generally resistant to some common pests and diseases that affect other types of arborvitae. It can be propagated from seeds or cuttings and is relatively easy to grow under suitable conditions. In summary, Fuja orientalis, or oriental arborvitae, is an evergreen coniferous tree that is to Eastern Asia. It is appreciated for its attractive foliage, adaptability to landscaping, and potential cultural significance. It is commonly used in gardens, parks, and other landscape settings, where it adds beauty and greenery to outdoor spaces. The stone pine, scientifically known as Pinus pinii, is a distinctive and well-known species of pine tree native to the Mediterranean region, including parts of southern Europe and North Africa. It is often recognized for its umbrella-like crown, delicious pine nuts, and cultural significance. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the stone pine. Stone pine trees are medium to large in size and can reach heights of 30 to 82 feet. They have a unique, picturesque appearance with a rounded, umbrella-shaped crown of branches. The bark is grayish-brown and develops furrows and ridges with age. The needles of the stone pine are needle-like and occur in bundles of two. They are typically about four to six inches long and are dark green. One of the distinctive features of the stone pine is its large, woody cones. The cones are often referred to as pine nuts, and they can measure about six to 12 inches in length. These cones contain edible seeds that are widely used in culinary applications. Stone pine is well adapted to the Mediterranean climate and is commonly found in coastal regions and hilly areas. It can tolerate rot and thrive in well-drained, sandy soils. The seeds of the stone pine, known as pine nuts or pignoli, are highly prized for their delicate, nutty flavor. They are used in a variety of dishes, including salads, pastas, and desserts. Pine nut oil is also produced from the seeds. While the wood of the stone pine is not as commonly used for timber as some other pine species, it is occasionally employed in woodworking and crafting. Its wood has a fine grain and pleasant aroma. Stone pines have cultural and historical significance in the Mediterranean region. They are sometimes associated with traditional practices and folklore and are considered iconic trees in the landscape. Due to their unique and attractive appearance, stone pines are often planted as ornamental trees in gardens, parks, and other landscape settings. They provide shade and a touch of Mediterranean charm to these spaces. While not currently listed as endangered, stone pine habitats are sometimes threatened by urbanization and land development. Conservation efforts are in place to protect and maintain these trees in their native regions. In summary, Pinus pinea, or the stone pine, is a distinctive pine species native to the Mediterranean region. It is renowned for its picturesque appearance, culinary value, and cultural significance in the Mediterranean. These trees contribute to both the natural ecosystems and cultural heritage of their native range. The Norfolk Island pine, scientifically known as Oricaria hydrophila, is a distinctive evergreen tree native to Norfolk Island, a small island in the South Pacific Ocean. It is known for its symmetrical, flared branches and pine-like appearance, despite not being a true pine. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Norfolk Island pine. Norfolk Island pine trees are medium to large in size, typically reaching heights of 50 to 200 feet or more in their native habitat. They have a unique symmetrical growth pattern with branches arranged in corals or tires. The branches are often horizontal, and the overall shape of the tree is somewhat conical. The leaves of the Norfolk Island pine are needle-like and can vary in length from 1 to 4 inches. The foliage is typically deep green and arranged in dense clusters at the tips of the branches. The leaves are often quite soft to the touch. The bark of the Norfolk Island pine is rough and grayish-brown. These trees produce large, woody cones that are not typically seen on young trees. The cones can reach sizes of up to 10 inches and are often round or oval in shape. Norfolk Island pines are native to Norfolk Island, which is located in the South Pacific Ocean between Australia and New Zealand. In their natural habitat, they are often found near the coast and in areas with well-drained soil. 
Norfolk Island pines are commonly grown as ornamental trees in various parts of the world. They are often used as indoor or outdoor potted plants and are appreciated for their distinctive appearance and adaptability to container culture. In regions with a mild climate, Norfolk Island pines can be grown outdoors, but they are frequently cultivated as house plants in areas with colder winters. When grown indoors, they require bright, indirect light and regular watering. In some regions with a suitable climate, Norfolk Island pines are used in landscaping as specimen trees, windbreaks, or street trees. In their native habitat on Norfolk Island, efforts are made to protect and preserve these trees, especially since their natural range is limited. Norfolk Island pines have cultural significance on Norfolk Island and are sometimes used as Christmas trees in certain regions due to their pine-like appearance. In summary, the Norfolk Island pine is a unique evergreen tree native to Norfolk Island in the South Pacific. It is cultivated for its distinctive appearance and is commonly grown as an ornamental houseplant or outdoor tree in regions with suitable climate. Its tired branches and pine-like foliage make it a popular choice for both indoor and outdoor landscaping. The Mediterranean cypress, scientifically known as Cupris sempervirens, is an iconic evergreen tree native to the Mediterranean region, including parts of southern Europe, western Asia, and northern Africa. It is known for its tall, slender form, dark green foliage, and historical and cultural significance. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Mediterranean cypress. Mediterranean cypress trees are tall and can reach heights of 60 to 115 feet or more. They have a distinctive narrow, columnar, or conical shape with dense, dark green foliage. The leaves of the Mediterranean cypress are scale-like and closely packed on the branches. They are typically dark green and remain green year-round, giving the tree its evergreen quality. The bark of the Mediterranean cypress is dark gray to brown and often becomes deeply furrowed with age. These trees produce small, round, woody cones that are about one inch in diameter. The cones contain seeds and are typically brown in color. Mediterranean cypress is well adapted to the Mediterranean climate, which features hot, dry summers and mild, wet winters. It is often found in coastal areas, hillsides, and rocky terrain. The Mediterranean cypress has a long history of cultural and symbolic significance. It is associated with various cultures and is often planted in cemeteries, gardens, and historic landscapes. In some regions, it is seen as a symbol of longevity and remembrance. The wood of the Mediterranean cypress has been used historically in construction, including for making furniture, doors, and boats. Its durability and resistance to decay make it a valuable timber. Mediterranean cypress is frequently used in landscaping as a specimen. Tree windbreak, or formal hedge due to its elegant form and adaptability. It adds a touch of Mediterranean charm to gardens and parks. While Mediterranean cypress is not currently considered endangered, efforts are made to protect and manage its natural populations and genetic diversity. The Mediterranean cypress has been referenced in literature, art, and architecture, and it is often associated with the landscapes of Mediterranean countries. In summary, Cupressus sempervirens, the Mediterranean cypress, is a distinctive evergreen tree native to the Mediterranean region. It is appreciated for its tall, slender form, cultural significance, and adaptability to a range of growing conditions. These trees play a role in both natural ecosystems and cultural landscapes in the Mediterranean and in New York. The eastern white pine, scientifically known as Pinus strobus, is a large and valuable coniferous tree native to eastern North America. It is one of the tallest tree species in eastern North America and is known for its straight trunk, soft, flexible needles, and its historical importance in the timber industry. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the eastern white pine. Eastern white pine trees are tall and can reach heights of 50 to 150 feet or more. They have a straight cylindrical trunk and branches that form a parallel crown. The needles are slender, flexible, and typically measure 2.5 to 5 inches in length. The needles of eastern white pine are arranged in bundles of five. They are soft and flexible, bluish green to silver green in color, and remain on the tree year-round. The cones of eastern white pine are cylindrical in shape, measure about 4 to 8 inches in length, and are brown in color. They contain seeds and are often used as a key identifying feature of the tree. The bark of young eastern white pine trees is smooth and grayish green, while older trees develop thicker furrowed and reddish brown bark. Eastern white pine is native to eastern North America, ranging from eastern Canada down to the Appalachian Mountains in the United States. It grows in a variety of forest types and soil conditions, often in mixed forests with other tree species. The wood of eastern white pine is highly valued for its straight grain, fine texture, and ease of working. It is used in construction, furniture making, cabinetry millwork, and as a source of high-quality lumber. Eastern white pine played a significant role in early American history. It was highly sought after for its timber, especially for shipbuilding and the construction of homes. The tree became known as the Tree of Peace by Native Americans. Tribes and its image was used on the pine tree shilling, a form of currency. 
Eastern white pine forests provide habitat for various wildlife species, including birds, mammals, and insects. The seeds are an important food source for many animals. Eastern white pine is commonly planted in reforestation and afforestation projects due to its rapid growth and valuable wood. While eastern white pine is not currently considered endangered conservation, efforts are in place to protect its natural habitats and promote sustainable forestry practices. In summary, Pinus strabus, the eastern white pine, is a majestic conifer's tree native to eastern North America. It is known for its tall stature, soft needles, and historical significance in the timber industry. This tree continues to play an important role in forestry, wildlife, habitat, and cultural heritage in the eastern United States and Canada. The bald cypress, scientifically known as Paxodium pisticum, is a deciduous coniferous tree native to the southeastern United States. It is a unique and iconic tree species known for its distinctive appearance, adaptability to wetland habitats, and historical significance. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the bald cypress. Bald cypress trees are medium to large in size and can reach heights of 50 to 120 feet or more. They have a straight, tall trunk with reddish-brown bark. The branches are typically horizontal to slightly drooping, and the crown is conical or irregularly shaped. The needles of bald cypress are feathery and arranged in flat sprays. They are light green in color and turn a beautiful reddish-brown. In the fall before dropping, giving the tree its bald appearance in winter. Bald cypress produces small woody cones that are about 1 to 2 inches in diameter. The cones contain seeds and are often spherical in shape. Bald cypress is well adapted to wetland habitats, including swamps, floodplains, and riverbanks. It can tolerate both standing water and periodic flooding, making it a valuable tree in riparian ecosystems. One unique feature of bald cypress trees is the development of cypress knees, which are woody projections that grow vertically from the roots and may protrude above the water in wetland environments. The exact function of cypress knees is still a subject of scientific study. The wood of bald cypress is highly valued for its durability and resistance to decay, particularly when it is submerged in water. It has been used historically in construction, including for building boats, houses, and outdoor structures. Bald cypress forests provide habitat for a wide range of wildlife, including birds, amphibians, and mammals. The trees and wetland habitats they create are ecologically important. While less common than in its native habitat, bald cypress is sometimes planted as an ornamental tree in landscaping. It is appreciated for its unique appearance, especially in wetlands and gardens, or as a shade tree. Efforts are made to protect and conserve bald cypress habitats, especially in areas threatened by habitat destruction and urban development. In summary, Taxodium bisticum, the bald cypress, is a distinctive deciduous conifer native to the southeastern United States. It is known for its unique appearance, cypress knees, adaptability to wetland habitats, and valuable wood. This tree plays a vital ecological role in wetland ecosystems and has cultural and historical significance in the regions where it grows. Arborvitae, a common name for various species of evergreen trees, and shrubs in the genus Fuja is known for its dense foliage, compact growth, and ease of care. Arborvitae is a popular choice in landscaping and gardens due to its versatility and ornamental qualities. Several species and cultivars of arborvitae are widely cultivated for various purposes. Here are some key characteristics and facts about arborvitae. Arborvitae plants can vary in size and shape depending on the species and cultivar. They are typically characterized by dense, scale-like leaves that are arranged in flattened sprays. The foliage is usually green but can vary in color and texture. Arborvitae trees produce small, woody cones that contain seeds. The cones are typically less than an inch long and may not be highly noticeable. Arborvitae species and cultivars can have different growth habits, including pyramidal, columnar, globe-shaped, or low-spreading forms. These varying growth habits make them suitable for a range of landscaping applications. Arborvitae is known for its tolerance of a wide range of growing conditions. It can thrive in various soil types and is often used for windbreaks, hedges, screens, and privacy barriers. There are numerous arborvitae cultivars available, each with unique characteristics. Some popular cultivars include the emerald green arborvitae and the techni arborvitae. These cultivars are selected for their specific traits, such as compact growth, disease resistance, or color variation. Arborvitae is commonly used in landscaping for hedges, screens, and as specimen trees or shrubs. Their dense foliage provides year-round privacy, and they are often chosen for their low-maintenance qualities. Many arborvitae cultivars exhibit good resistance to common pests and diseases, making them a preferred choice for gardeners and landscapers. Some arborvitae species and cultivars have cultural or historical significance, particularly among indigenous North American tribes. The name arborvitae is derived from the Latin phrase meaning tree of life. In the wild, certain arborvitae species may face conservation concerns due to habitat loss and overcollection. Conservation efforts are in place to protect these native populations. 
Arbor vitae generally requires minimal maintenance, such as regular pruning to maintain the desired shape and size. Watering and fertilization needs may vary depending on the specific cultivar and growing conditions. In summary, Arbor vitae refers to various species and cultivars of evergreen trees and shrubs in the future genus. They are prized for their versatility in landscaping, including as hedges, screens, and ornamental specimens. Arbor vitae's adaptability and low maintenance qualities make it a popular choice for both residential and commercial landscapes. The Chinese fir, scientifically known as Cunninghamia lasuata, is a coniferous tree native to southern China and other parts of Southeast Asia. It is valued for its timber, ornamental qualities, and adaptability to various growing conditions. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Chinese fir. Chinese fir trees are medium to large in size and can reach heights of 80 to 130 feet or more. They have a pyramidal to conical crown with horizontal to slightly drooping branches. The foliage is evergreen, consisting of needle-like leaves that are arranged in flattened sprays. The leaves of the Chinese fir are linear, needle-like, and typically measure 0.5 to 1 inch in length. They are typically dark green and remain green throughout the year. Chinese fir produces small woody cones that are about 1 inch long. The cones contain seeds and are typically brown in color. The bark of young Chinese fir trees is smooth and grayish brown, while older trees develop thicker, furrowed bark that becomes reddish brown with age. Chinese fir is native to regions in southern China, as well as parts of Vietnam and Laos. It grows in a range of forest types and soil conditions, often in mixed forests with other tree species. The wood of Chinese fir is highly prized for its quality and is used in various applications, including construction, furniture making, making cabinetry, and woodworking. It has a straight grain and is relatively lightweight. Chinese fir is sometimes used as an ornamental tree in landscaping due to its attractive appearance. It can be planted as a specimen tree in parks and gardens. The Chinese fir has cultural and historical significance in China, where it has been used traditionally for timber and other purposes. It is sometimes associated with folklore and traditional practices. While Chinese fir is not considered an endangered species, conservation efforts are in place to protect and manage its natural populations and maintain genetic diversity. Chinese fir can hybridize with other tree species, leading to the development of various hybrid varieties with different characteristics. In summary, Cunninghamia lanceolata, the Chinese fir, is an evergreen conifer native to southern China and Southeast Asia. It is valued for its timber, ornamental value, and adaptability to various growing conditions. This tree species plays a role in forestry, landscaping, and culture in its native regions. The monkey puzzle tree, scientifically known as Araucaria aurantina, is a distinctive and ancient coniferous tree native to the Andes Mountains of South America. It is known for its unique appearance with sharp, scale-like leaves densely covering its branches and its intriguing. Common name, which is believed to have originated from a comment made by an Englishman in the 19th century, that it would puzzle a monkey to climb it. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the monkey puzzle tree. Monkey puzzle trees are tall, slow-growing trees that can reach heights of 50 to 100 feet or more. They have a pyramidal or conical shape with thick, horizontal branches that are densely covered in sharp, triangular leaves. The leaves are dark green and have a tough, leathery texture. The leaves of the monkey puzzle tree are arranged in whorls of entirely arranged scales, giving the branches a distinctive, sticky appearance. Each scale is sharp and rigid, making the tree appear puzzling to climbers. The bark of mature monkey puzzle trees is rough, grayish-brown, and fissured. It provides protection to the tree's inner layers from harsh environmental conditions. Monkey puzzle trees produce large woody cones that can measure up to 8 inches in diameter. These cones are often described as resembling piney apples and are a key feature of the tree. They contain edible seeds. Monkey puzzle trees are native to the cool, mountainous regions of the end of mountains in Chile and Argentina. They are typically found at high elevations, often growing above 3,000 feet in rocky, well-drained soils. In its native range, the monkey puzzle tree faces some conservation concerns due to habitat loss and overharvesting. Conservation efforts are in place to protect and preserve these ancient trees. The monkey puzzle tree has cultural and historical significance in its native regions, and it is sometimes associated with indigenous traditions and ceremonies. Outside of its native range, monkey puzzle trees are cultivated as ornamental trees in gardens and parks in various parts of the world. Their unique appearance and historical significance make them prized additions to landscapes. Monkey puzzle trees are relatively hardy and can be grown in regions with a temperate climate. They require well-drained soil and can tolerate cold temperatures, making them suitable for cultivation in some temperate regions. Monkey puzzle trees are often referred to as living fossils because they have a lineage that dates back to the time of the dinosaurs. They are one of the few remaining species of the ancient Araucaria family. In summary, Araucaria rotana, the monkey puzzle tree, is an iconic coniferous tree known for its unique appearance, sticky leaves, and distinctive cones. 
It is native to the Andes Mountains of South America and is cultivated as an ornamental tree in various parts of the world, where it adds a touch of prehistoric charm to landscape. The Butyr cedar, scientifically known as Cedrus butyr, is a majestic, evergreen tree native to the Himalayan region of India, Pakistan, and Nepal. It is one of the most iconic and culturally significant trees in its native range and is prized for its graceful appearance, aromatic wood, and various uses. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Butyr cedar. Butyr cedars are large trees that can reach towering heights of 130 to 200 feet or more. They have a conical to pyramidal crown with spreading branches. The foliage is composed of long, slender, needle-like leaves that are typically bluish-green to silvery-green in color. The leaves of the Deuter cedar are arranged in clusters or whorls along the branches, giving the tree a feathery appearance. The leaves are fragrant when crushed, emitting a pleasant, resinous aroma. Deuter cedars produce large, girl-shaped cones that are about 3 to 6 inches long. The cones are typically green when young and turn brown as they mature. They contain seeds and are a key feature of the tree. The bark of the deuter cedar is brown to grayish brown and develops deep furrows and ridges with age. Deuter cedars are native to the western Himalayas and are often found in mountainous regions, including slopes and valleys at elevations of 3,000 to 12,000 feet. They thrive in areas with well-drained soil and receive ample moisture from winter snow and monsoon rain. The wood of the deuter cedar is highly valued for its durability, fine grain, and resistance to decay. It is used in construction, woodworking, and for making furniture, doors, and boat building. The wood is aromatic and contributes to its desirability. The Dieter cedar holds significant cultural and religious importance in the Himalayan region. It is often associated with Hindu and Buddhist traditions and is considered a sacred tree. In some cultures, it symbolizes wisdom, strength, and longevity. In its native range, Dieter cedar populations have faced threats from overharvesting and habitat loss. Conservation efforts are in place to protect and manage these trees and their ecosystems. Deuter cedars are cultivated as ornamental trees in many parts of the world due to their graceful form and attractive foliage. They are used in gardens, parks, and landscapes to add a touch of elegance and character. Various cultivars of deuter cedar have been developed with different growth habits and foliage colors. These cultivars provide options for landscaping and gardening purposes. In summary, Cedrus deuter, the deuter cedar, is a majestic evergreen tree native to the Himalayan region. It is celebrated for its graceful appearance, fragrant wood, and cultural significance. This tree plays a vital role in the landscapes, traditions, and economies of the regions where it grows. The blue spruce, scientifically known as Picea pungens, is a striking evergreen tree native to the western United States, particularly in the Rocky Mountains and surrounding areas. It is renowned for its vibrant blue-green to silver-blue foliage and its use in landscaping and as a Christmas tree. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the blue spruce. Blue spruce trees are medium to large-sized evergreens, typically reaching heights of 30 to 75 feet. They have a symmetrical conical to pyramidal shape with dense, horizontal branches that extend all the way to the ground. The most distinctive feature of the blue spruce is its needles, which are sharply pointed in range and color from silver blue to blue green. The needles are arranged spirally along the branches and are generally 1 to 1.5 inches long. Young blue spruce trees have smooth, grayish bark while mature trees develop thicker, scaly, and rougher bark with a reddish brown to gray brown color. Blue spruce produces small woody cones that are about 2 to 4 inches long. These cones contain seeds and are often cylindrical or oblong in shape. Blue spruce is native to mountainous regions and can be found in a variety of habitats, including subalpine and montane forests. It thrives in well-drained soils and cooler climates. Blue spruce is a popular choice for Christmas trees in many regions due to its attractive color and shape. It is also used as an ornamental tree in landscaping parks and gardens. In landscaping, blue spruce is often planted as a specimen tree, windbreak, screen, or hedge. Its striking blue foliage and neat. Pyramidal shape make it an attractive addition to many outdoor settings. Numerous cultivars of blue spruce have been developed offering variations in color, size, and form. For example, the Glauca cultivar is known for its intense blue foliage. Blue spruce is known for its tolerance to drought once established, making it suitable for fearscaping in regions with limited water availability. In its native habitat, blue spruce populations have faced challenges from factors such as habitat fragmentation and climate change. Conservation efforts are in place to protect and manage these trees and their ecosystems. In summary, Pacea pungens, the blue spruce, is a stunning evergreen tree native to the western United States. It is prized for its vibrant blue-green to silver-blue foliage and is widely used in landscaping particularly as an ornamental tree and as a popular choice for Christmas decorations. Blue spruce trees contribute to the beauty of landscapes and have cultural significance in holiday traditions. The white spruce, scientifically known as Pacea blocca, is a conductorous tree. Native to North America, particularly in the northern regions of the United States and Canada, 
It is a hardy and adaptable tree species known for its conical shape, blue-green foliage, and various uses. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the white spruce. White spruce trees are medium to large-sized evergreens, typically reaching heights of 40 to 100 feet. They have a conical to narrowly pyramidal shape with horizontal to slightly drooping branches. The crown is usually dense and symmetrical. The needles of white spruce are needle-like stiff and approximately 0.5 to 0.75 inch long. They are typically blue-green to silver-blue in color and have a square cross-section, which can help distinguish them from other spruce species. Young white spruce trees have smooth, grayish bark while mature trees develop thicker, scaly, and rougher bark with a reddish-brown to gray-brown color. White spruce produces small woody cones that are about 1 to 2 inches long. These cones are cylindrical in shape and often have thin, flexible scales. They contain seeds and play a role in the tree's reproduction. White spruce is adapted to a wide range of environmental conditions and can be found in various forest types, including boreal and subalpine forests. It is often found in cold, northern climates and can tolerate a range of soil types. The wood of white spruce is valued for its straight grain fine texture and light color. It is used in construction, woodworking, and paper production. The wood is also used for making musical instruments, such as pianos and violins. White spruce is sometimes planted as an ornamental tree in landscaping, especially in regions with cold winters. It is used for windbreaks, screens, and as a shade tree. White spruce has cultural and economic importance in northern regions, where it is used for timber and other forest products. It also provides habitat for wildlife, including birds and mammals. While white spruce is not considered endangered, conservation efforts are in place to protect and sustainably manage its natural populations and genetic diversity. White spruce can hybridize with other spruce species, leading to variations in hybrid forms in the wild. In summary, Pisiglaca, the white spruce, is a versatile and hardy coniferous tree native to North America. It is valued for its adaptability, wood quality, and various uses in construction and industry. White spruce trees are also appreciated for their blue-green foliage and have cultural and ecological significance in northern regions. Canis mercusi, commonly known as Mercus pine or Symmetran pine, is a coniferous tree species native to several Southeast Asian countries, including Indonesia, Malaysia, and Zealand. It is known for its tall, straight trunk, conical crown, and valuable wood. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Pinus mercusi. Mercus pine trees are large, evergreen trees that can reach heights of 100 to 160 feet or more. They have a straight, cylindrical trunk and a conical crown with horizontal branches. The needles of Pinus mercusi are slender, needle-like, and arranged in bundles of two. They are typically dark green and remain on the tree year-round. The bark of young Mercus pine trees is smooth and grayish-brown, while mature trees develop thicker, scaly, and fissured bark that becomes reddish-brown with age. Mercus pine produces woody cones that are usually long and cylindrical, measuring about 5 to 10 inches in length. The cones contain seeds and are often brown. This pine species is native to a variety of habitats in Southeast Asia, including lowland tropical rainforests, hill forests, and mountainous areas. It prefers well-drained soils and is often found in mixed forests with other tree species. The wood of Pinus mercusi is highly valued for its quality and is used in construction, furniture making, plywood production, and other woodworking applications. It has a straight grain and is relatively lightweight. Mercus pine is an economically important tree in Southeast Asia, where it is harvested for its valuable timber. It is also sometimes used for resin extraction. In some areas of its native range, Mercus pine populations have faced threats from logging and habitat loss. Conservation efforts are in place to protect and manage these trees and their ecosystems. Outside of its native range, Mercus pine is occasionally cultivated as an ornamental tree in gardens and parks in regions with suitable climates. Its tall, stately form and evergreen foliage make it an attractive addition to landscapes. Panus mercusi is adapted to a range of climate conditions, from tropical lowlands to cooler upland areas. It is known for its ability to grow in both humid and drier environments. In summary, Pinus mercusi, the Mercus pine or Symmetran pine, is a significant semaphorous tree species native to Southeast Asia. It is valued for its tall stature, high-quality wood, and adaptability to various climate conditions. This tree species has ecological, economic, and cultural importance in its native range. Common juniper, scientifically known as Juniperus communis, is a small to medium-sized evergreen shrub or tree belonging to the genus Juniperus. It has a wide distribution across the northern hemisphere and is known for its distinctive blue-green foliage berry like cones and its use in various applications, including flavoring and gin production. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the common juniper. Common juniper exhibits a variable growth form, ranging from low-growing shrubs to small trees that can reach heights of 3 to 10 feet. It typically has a dense, bushy, and rounded crown. 
The leaves of common juniper are needle-like and appear in opposite pairs, or whorls of three. They are typically dark green to bluish green and have a waxy coating that gives them a distinctive aromatic scent when crushed. Common juniper produces small berry-like cones called juniper berries. These cones are green when young and eventually mature to a dark purple-black color. They are not true berries, but are instead modified cones with fleshy scales that enclose the seeds. Common juniper is a hardy and adaptable species that can thrive in a variety of habitats, including heathlands, rocky slopes, coastal dunes, and open woodlands. It is found in both temperate and subarctic regions. This species has a broad geographical distribution and can be found throughout the northern hemisphere, including North America, Europe, Asia, and parts of Africa. It is one of the most widely distributed conifer species in the world. Common juniper has cultural and historical significance in various regions. It has been used for its aromatic properties, wood, and traditional medicinal uses. The juniper berry flavor is also a key component in the production of gin, a popular alcoholic beverage. Juniper berries have been used in traditional medicine for their potential diuretic and anti-inflammatory properties. In culinary applications, juniper berries are used as a flavoring agent in various dishes, particularly in Scandinavian cuisine. In addition to its practical uses, common juniper is sometimes planted in landscaping as an ornamental shrub or ground cover due to its attractive foliage and low maintenance requirements. Common juniper provides food and shelter for various wildlife species, including birds and mammals that feed on its berries. It also helps stabilize soils in some regions. While common juniper is not currently considered endangered, conservation efforts are important in some areas to protect its natural populations and maintain genetic diversity. In summary, juniperus communis, the common juniper, is a versatile and widely distributed evergreen shrub or tree known for its aromatic foliage and distinctive juniper berries. It has cultural, culinary, and medicinal significance, and plays ecological roles in various habitats across its extensive range. Podocarpus macrophyllus, commonly known as the Buddhist pine, yew pine, or fern pine, is an evergreen coniferous tree or shrub belonging to the genus Podocarpus. It is native to various regions in Asia, including China, Japan, and India. The Buddhist pine is known for its attractive, dense foliage and its use in landscaping and gardens. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Podocarpus macrophylla. Buddhist pine can vary in size and growth habit. It may be a small to medium-sized tree or a large shrub, typically reaching heights of 20 to 50 feet or more. It has a compact, dense crown with horizontal branches. The leaves of Podocarpus macrophylla are lance-shaped or elliptical and measure 2 to 4 inches in length. They are typically dark green and glossy, creating a lush, attractive appearance. The leaves are arranged alternately along the branches. This tree produces small, berry-like cones that are typically reddish or purple when mature. These cones contain seeds and are not true berries, but are instead modified cones with fleshy scales. Buddhist pine is native to a range of habitats, including forests, woodlands, and hillsides in subtropical and tropical regions of Asia. It prefers well-drained soils and can tolerate a variety of soil types. Podocarpus macrophylla is a popular choice in landscaping and gardens, especially in regions with a subtropical or tropical climate. It is valued for its dense, attractive foliage, which makes it suitable for hedges, screens, and as a specimen tree or shrub. The Buddhist pine is sometimes associated with cultural and religious traditions, particularly in East Asia, where it is often planted near temples and in gardens. It is not a true pine, but has been given its common name due to its resemblance to some pine species. Buddhist pine is relatively tolerant of various growing conditions, including urban environments and coastal areas. It can withstand pruning and shaping to maintain its desired form. In its native range, Podocarpus macrophyllus is not considered endangered. However, conservation efforts may be important in certain areas to protect its natural populations. In some traditional medicinal practices, extracts from parts of the Buddhist pine have been used for their potential health benefits. Several cultivars and varieties of Podocarpus macrophyllus have been developed with different growth habits and leaf characteristics, providing options for landscaping and gardening purposes. In summary, Podocarpus macrophyllus of the Buddhist pine is an evergreen coniferous tree or shrub native to Asia. It is appreciated for its lush, glossy foliage and is commonly used in landscaping and gardens, particularly in subtropical and tropical regions. It has cultural and ornamental significance and can tolerate a range of growing conditions. Samia perfurisiae, commonly known as the cardboard palm cardboard, cycad, or Mexican cycad, is a cycad species native to eastern Mexico. Despite its common names, it is not a true palm or fern but belongs to the ancient group of plants known as cycads. Samia perfurisiae is known for its distinctive appearance, with stiff, leathery leaves and a rugged, trunk-like base. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Samia perfurisiae. The cardboard palm typically grows as a compact, low-growing shrub with a rosette of stiff, 
infinitely compound leaves. The leaves are arranged in a spiral fashion, giving the plant an attractive and symmetrical appearance. The leaves of Zamia furfursia are long, often two to three feet, and composed of numerous pairs of stiff, glossy leaflets. The leaflets are dark green and have a leathery texture, which contributes to the plant's common name, cardboard palm. The trunk of Zamia furfursia is not a true trunk, but rather an above-ground stem known as a caudex. The caudex is covered in a layer of brown, papery scales, giving it a unique and rugged appearance. Zamia furfursia produces cone-like structures known as strobili, which are the reproductive structures of second. These strobili emerge from the center of the rosette and contain male or female reproductive parts. This species is native to the understory of tropical and subtropical forests in eastern Mexico. It is often found growing in rocky, well-drained soils. The cardboard palm is a popular ornamental plant in landscaping, particularly in tropical and subtropical regions. It is used in gardens, parks, and as a potted plant for its unique appearance and low maintenance requirements. Zenia furfursia is a slow-growing plant and may take several years to reach maturity. It is known for its longevity and can live for several decades. It's important to note that all parts of Zemia furfursia are toxic. If ingested and caution should be exercised when handling the plant, especially around pets and small children. In the wild, some populations of Zemia furfursia are threatened due to habitat destruction and collection. Conservation efforts are in place to protect and preserve these cycads in their native habitat. Zemia furfursia has cultural and historical significance in the regions where it is native. Some indigenous communities have used parts of the plant in traditional practices. In summary, Zamia furfursia, the cardboard palm or Mexican cycad, is an intriguing and distinctive plant known for its stiff, leathery leaves and rugged caudex. It is a popular choice for ornamental landscaping and has unique features that make it a conversation piece in gardens and green spaces. However, it should be handled with care due to its toxicity. Penis siberica, commonly known as the Siberian pine or Siberian cedar, is a species of coniferous tree native to Siberia and other parts of northern Asia. It is a hardy and long-lived pine tree known for its valuable timber, edible pine nuts, and resin production. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Pinus siberica. Siberian pine is a medium-sized to large tree that typically reaches heights of 50 to 100 feet or more. It has a straight, upright trunk with a conical to pyramidal crown. The needles of Pinus siberica are needle-like slender and typically measure 2.5 to 4 inches in length. They are typically bluish green and are arranged in bundles of five needles per fascicle, a common feature of many pine species. The bark of young Siberian pine trees is smooth and grayish brown, while mature trees develop thicker, scaly, and reddish brown bark with age. Siberian pine produces oval shaped cones that are about two to three inches long. The cones have thick, woody scales and contain edible pine nuts. These nuts are an important food source and are harvested for both consumption and commercial use. This pine species is native to a wide range of habitats in northern Asia, including forests, taiga, and mountainous areas. It is adapted to cold climates and is often found in areas with harsh winters. The wood of Pinus siberica is highly valued for its quality and is used in various applications, including construction, woodworking, and furniture making. It is known for its straight grain and durability. The seeds of Siberian pine are edible and have a sweet, nutty flavor. They are often used in culinary dishes, such as salads, desserts, and traditional Russian recites. Siberian pine trees produce resin, which has been used for various purposes, including as a natural adhesive and for medicinal and cosmetic applications. The Siberian pine provides habitat and food for various wildlife, species including birds, rodents, and insects that feed on its seeds and foliage. Siberian pine has cultural and economic importance in the regions where it is native. It is sometimes associated with traditional practices and folklore. While Siberian pine is not considered endangered, Sustainable forestry practices are important to protect and manage its natural populations and maintain genetic diversity. In summary, Pinus siberica, the Siberian pine or Siberian cedar, is a cold, hardy, and economically valuable pine tree native to northern Asia. It is known for its edible pine nuts, high-quality wood, and adaptability to cold climates. This tree species plays a significant role in the ecology and culture of the regions where it grows. Pinus pinister, commonly known as maritime pine or cluster pine, is a species of pine tree native to the western Mediterranean region, including parts of southern Europe and northern Africa. It is a large and hardy pine species known for its straight trunk, long needles, and its importance in forestry, resin production, and landscaping. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Pinus pinister. Maritime pine is a large evergreen tree that typically reaches heights of 65 to 115 feet or more. It has a straight and tall trunk with a broadly conical or umbrella-like crown. The needles of Pinus pinister are long, slender, and typically measure six to nine inches in length. They are dark green and often appear in clusters of two or three needles per fascicle. 
The bark of young maritime pine trees is reddish brown and smooth while mature trees develop thicker, darker, and deeply furrowed bark. Maritime pine produces oval to cylindrical cones that are typically three to seven inches long. The cones have a distinctive shape with a characteristic curved or twisted appearance. They contain pine seeds and are used in various applications, including for extracting pine nuts and producing resin. This pine species is native to coastal regions and can thrive in a variety of soil types, including sandy and rocky soils. It is well adapted to coastal conditions and is often found growing in sandy dunes. The wood of Penis pinister is highly valued for its quality and is used in construction, woodworking, and paper production. It is known for its straight grain and durability. Maritime pine trees are a source of resin known as pitch or resin, which is extracted from their bark. The resin has a range of industrial and commercial applications, including in varnishes, adhesives, and perfumes. Due to its adaptability and attractive appearance, maritime pine is used in landscaping and forestry in various parts of the world. It is sometimes planted in coastal areas for erosion control and as an ornamental tree. Maritime pine has cultural and economic importance in the regions where it is native. It is sometimes associated with traditional practices and has been used in resin production for centuries. Sustainable forestry practices are important to protect and manage maritime pine populations and ensure the long-term availability of its wood and resin. In summary, Pinus pinester, the maritime pine or cluster pine, is a large and hardy pine species native to the western Mediterranean region. It is valued for its high-quality wood, resin production, and adaptability to coastal conditions. This tree species plays a significant role in both natural ecosystems and various human activities, including forestry and industrial applications. Pinus sembra, commonly known as the Swiss stone pine, Arola pine, or sembra pine, is a species of pine tree native to the mountainous regions of Central and Eastern Europe, including the Alps, Carpathians, and other mountain ranges. It is a slow-growing, long-lived conifer known for its distinctive appearance, valuable wood, and edible pine nuts. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Pinus sembra. Swiss stone pine is a medium-sized to large evergreen tree that typically reaches heights of 50 to 100 feet. It has a conical to columnar crown and a straight, upright trunk. The needles of Pinus sembra are needle-like slender and measure about 2 to 4 inches in length. They are typically bluish green to dark green and are arranged in clusters of 5 needles per fascicle. The bark of young Swiss stone pine trees is smooth and grayish brown, while mature trees develop thicker, scaly, and reddish brown bark. Swiss stone pine produces oval to cylindrical cones that are usually 2 to 4 inches long. The cones are often reddish brown and contain edible pine seeds. These pine nuts are valued for their culinary uses. This pine species is native to high altitude mountain regions and thrives in alpine and subalpine habitats. It is adapted to cold and harsh climates, including snowy winters and rocky soils. The wood of Pinus sembra is highly prized for its quality and is used in construction, woodworking, and crafting. It is known for its straight grain, fine texture, and durability. The wood is used to make furniture, musical instruments, and carvings. The seeds of Swiss stone pine are edible and have a sweet, nutty flavor. They are often used in culinary dishes, such as salads, pastries, and deserts. In some areas of its native range, Swiss stone pine populations have faced threats from logging and habitat loss. Conservation efforts are in place to protect and manage these trees in their ecosystems. Swiss stone pine is sometimes planted as an ornamental tree in gardens and parks, especially in regions with cool climates and alpine settings. It is appreciated for its aesthetic value and the potential for pine nut production. Swiss stone pine has cultural and historical significance in the regions where it is native. It has been used in traditional practices, including in the construction of wooden chalets and for resin production. In summary, Pinus sembra, the Swiss stone pine or Arola pine, is a slow-growing coniferous tree native to mountainous regions of Central and Eastern Europe. It is valued for its wood, edible pine nuts, and adaptability to high-altitude environments. This tree species plays an important role in both natural ecosystems and various human activities, including forestry and culinary traditions. Cedrus libani, commonly known as the cedar of Lebanon or Lebanon cedar, is a species of coniferous tree native to the mountains of the eastern Mediterranean region, particularly in Lebanon, western Syria, and southern Turkey. It is an iconic and ancient tree species known for its majestic appearance, historical significance, and cultural symbolism. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Cedrus libani. Cedar of Lebanon is a large evergreen tree that can reach heights of 65 to 130 feet or more. It has a broad pyramidal to conical crown with horizontal branches that often sweep outward. The tree's appearance is both stately and impressive. The needles of Cedrus libani are needle-like and arranged in clusters or fascicles. Each cluster typically contains 15 to 45 needles, and the needles are usually dark green or bluish green. 
The tree produces large woody cones that are usually about three to six inches long. These cones can take up to two years to mature. The seeds are small and winged. Young cedar of Lebanon trees have smooth, grayish brown bark, while mature trees develop thicker, scaly, and reddish brown bark. This cedar species is native to mountainous regions with a Mediterranean climate. It thrives in well-drained, rocky soils and is often found at elevations ranging from 3,280 to 6,560 feet above the sea level. The cedar of Lebanon has deep historical and cultural significance, particularly in the regions where it is native. It has been revered for thousands of years and is mentioned in various ancient texts, including the Bible. The wood was highly prized for its durability and used in construction, including the building of temples and ships. Cedar of Lebanon is often associated with strength, resilience, and longevity. It has been used as a symbol of national identity and pride in Lebanon and other countries in the region. In its native range, Cedrus Lebani populations have faced threats from logging and habitat loss. Conservation efforts are in place to protect and preserve these iconic trees and their ecosystems. Cedar of Lebanon is sometimes planted as an ornamental tree in gardens, parks, and estates in various parts of the world. Its majestic appearance and historical significance make it a desirable addition to landscapes. The cedar of Lebanon has been used in religious and cultural ceremonies in the region. It is also a symbol of peace and strength in various contexts. In summary, Cedrus Lebani, the cedar of Lebanon, is a magnificent and culturally significant coniferous tree native to the eastern Mediterranean mountains. It has played a prominent role in history, religion, and culture, and is admired for its stately appearance and enduring symbolism. Efforts are underway to conserve and protect this iconic tree species and its natural habitat. The lodgepole pine, scientifically known as Pinus contortivar, latifolia is a subspecies of the shore pine and is native to the western regions of North America. It is a versatile coniferous tree known for its straight trunks, slender needles, and ecological importance. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the lodgepole pine. Lodgepole pines are medium-sized evergreen trees that typically reach heights of 50 to 85 feet and have a straight, slender trunk. They have a narrow, conical crown which gives them their distinctive appearance. The needles of lodgepole pines are needle-like and come in pairs. They are typically 1.5 to 3 inches long and have a dark green color. Lodgepole pine produces cylindrical cones that are usually 1.5 to 3 inches long. The cones have tight, rounded scales that are sealed shut with resin. They often remain on the tree for many years, only opening when exposed to fire or heat to release their seeds. The bark of young lodgepole pines is thin, smooth, and grayish-brown. As the trees mature, the bark becomes thicker and develops deep furrows, becoming reddish-brown to grayish-brown. Lodgepole pines are highly adaptable and can be found in a variety of habitats, including moist lowlands mountains and subalpine and alpine regions. They are often associated with serpentine soils and are commonly found in areas with a history of wildfires. Lodgepole pines play a crucial role in forest ecosystems. Their serotonous cones require the heat from wildfires to open and release their seeds, which helps the tree regenerate in fire-prone areas. This adaptation allows lodgepole pine forests to recover and thrive after fires. The wood of lodgepole pine is valued for its straight grain and uniform texture. It is used in construction, including for lumber, plywood, and poles. It is also used for making furniture and various wood products. Lodgepole pine forests provide habitat and food for various wildlife species, including birds, squirrels, and insects. The seeds are an important food source for some animals. Indigenous peoples of North America have historically used various parts of the lodgepole pine for traditional purposes, such as for building shelters and making tools. Lodgepole pine is often grown for commercial forestry purposes. Silvicultural practices may include planting thinning and controlled burns to manage the forest and promote healthy growth. In summary, Pinus contortivar. Latifolia of the lodgepole pine is a versatile and ecologically significant tree species native to western North America. It is adapted to fire-prone environments and has economic and ecological importance. Its unique adaptation to wildfires and its use in construction and forestry make it a valuable tree species in the region. Corian pine, scientifically known as Pinus coriensis, is a species of pine tree native to northeastern Asia, particularly the Korean Peninsula, parts of northeastern China, and the Russian Far East. It is a medium to large coniferous tree known for its valuable wood, edible pine nuts, and ecological role in the forest of its native range. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Korean pine. Korean pine is a tall, evergreen tree that typically reaches heights of 60 to 100 feet or more. It has a straight trunk and a pyramidal to broadly conical crown. The needles of Pinus coriensis are needle-like slender and measure about 3 to 5 inches in length. They are typically dark green and are arranged in clusters of 5 needles per fascicle. Korean pine produces large ovoid to egg-shaped cones that are typically 3 to 6 inches long. 
The cones have sticks, woody scales that protect the seeds. The seeds inside the cones are edible pine nuts and are an important food source. The bark of young Korean pine trees is smooth, grayish-brown, and becomes rougher and darker as the trees mature. This pine species is native to a variety of habitats, including mixed forests, mountainous areas, and subalpine regions in northeastern Asia. It prefers well-drained soils and can tolerate cold winters. The wood of Korean pine is highly valued for its quality and is used in construction, woodworking, and furniture making. It is known for its straight grain, fine texture, and resistance to decay. The seeds of Korean pine are edible and have a sweet, nutty flavor. They are often used in culinary dishes, particularly in Asian cuisine, and are sometimes harvested for commercial use. Korean pine forests provide habitat and some food for various wildlife species, including birds and mammals that feed on the seeds and foliage. Korean pine has cultural and economic importance in the regions where it is native. It has been used for its wood and pine nuts for centuries, and is sometimes associated with traditional practices. While Korean pine is not considered endangered, sustainable forestry practices are important to protect and manage its natural populations and maintain genetic diversity. Korean pine is sometimes planted as an ornamental tree in gardens and parks, especially in regions with suitable climates. Its attractive appearance and the potential for pine nut production make it a desirable addition to landscapes. In summary, Pinus coriensis, the Korean pine is a versatile and economically valuable tree species native to northeastern Asia. It is appreciated for its high quality wood, edible pine nuts, and adaptability to cold climates. This tree species plays a significant role in both natural ecosystems and various human activities, including forestry and culinary traditions. Loblily pine, scientifically known as Pinus tata, is a species of pine tree native to the southeastern United States. It is one of the most commercially important and widely distributed pine species in North America. Loblily pine is known for its rapid growth, straight trunks, and its significance in forestry, timber production, and ecosystem support. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the loblily pine. Loblily pine is a tall evergreen tree that typically reaches heights of 80 to 100 feet or more. It has a straight, slender trunk and a conical to irregularly shaped crown. The needles of Pinus tata are needle-like slender and measure about 6 to 9 inches in length. They are typically dark green and are arranged in clusters of three needles per fascicle. Lowly pine produces oval to cylindrical cones that are usually 3 to 6 inches long. The cones have scales that are armed with small prickles. The bark of young lowly pine trees is relatively smooth, grayish-brown, and becomes rougher and darker as the trees mature, developing into deep furrows. This pine species is native to a variety of habitats in the southeastern United States, including mixed forests, bottomlands, and coastal areas. It prefers well-drained soils but can tolerate a range of soil types. Loblily pine wood is highly valued for its quality and is used in construction, woodworking, and paper production. It is known for its straight grain uniform texture and suitability for a wide range of applications. Loblily pine is a major economic resource in the southeastern United States and is cultivated for timber and pulpwood. It is used in the construction of buildings, furniture, and various wood products. Loblily pine forests provide habitat and food for a variety of wildlife species, including birds, squirrels, and deer. The seeds are an important food source. Loblily pine plays a significant ecological role in the southeastern US. It helps stabilize soils, sequester carbon, and support biodiversity. The rapid growth and adaptability of loblily pine make it a popular choice for commercial forestry. Silvicultural practices include planting, thinning, and prescribed burns to manage the forest and promote healthy growth. Efforts are made to sustainably manage and conserve loblily pine populations and ensure the long-term health of these forests. In summary, Pinus tata, the loblily pine, is a versatile and commercially important pine species native to the southeastern United States. It is known for its fast growth, high-quality wood, and ecological significance. This tree species plays a vital role in supporting both the economy and ecosystems of the southeastern of Western red cedar, scientifically known as Thuja plicata, is a species of coniferous tree native to Western North America, including the coastal regions of British Columbia, Alaska, Washington, Oregon, and California. It is a tall, evergreen tree with a variety of uses and cultural significance. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Western red cedar. Western red cedar is a large tree that typically reaches heights of 165 to 230 feet or more, making it one of the tallest trees in North America. It has a straight columnar trunk and a conical to irregularly shaped crown. The foliage of Thuja plicata consists of scale-like leaves that are arranged in flattened sprays. The leaves are typically green to yellow-green and have a distinctive fan-shaped appearance. Western red cedar produces small oval cones that are usually less than one inch long. These cones contain small seeds and are not typically used for reproduction. The bark of Western red cedar is thin 
reddish-brown to grayish-brown, and develops into shreddy, fibrous strips that peel away in long, narrow strips. The cedar species is primarily found in coastal regions with a maritime climate. It thrives in moist, temperate rainforests, along riverbanks, and in other areas with ample moisture. Western red cedar wood is highly prized for its quality and versatility. It is lightweight, durable, and resistant to decay in insects. The wood is used in a wide range of applications, including construction, boat buildings, shingles, and outdoor furniture. Western red cedar holds cultural and historical significance for indigenous peoples of the Pacific Northwest who have used the wood for centuries to create southern poles, canoes, and other traditional items. It is often referred to as the tree of life due to its importance in indigenous culture. The wood of Western red cedar is known for its natural preservative properties, making it's suitable for use in building long-lasting structures, such as cedar plank houses and cedar dugout canoes. While western red cedar is not considered endangered, sustainable forestry practices are important to protect and manage its natural populations and preserve its cultural significance. Western red cedar is sometimes planted as an ornamental tree in gardens and landscapes. It is appreciated for its attractive foliage and the pleasant fragrance of its wood. In summary, Sujapakawa, the western red cedar, is a majestic and culturally significant tree native to the coastal regions of Western North America. Its high quality wood, cultural importance, and ecological role in temperate rainforests make it a remarkable and valued species in the region. Chamesa Paris Lawsonietta, commonly known as Lawson Cypress, Port Orford Cedar, or simply Port Orford, is a species of coniferous tree native to the Pacific Northwest of North America, particularly in southwestern Oregon and Northern California. It is a tall, evergreen tree with attractive foliage and is known for its valuable wood and ornamental use in landscaping. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Chamisa Paris Lawsoniana. Lawson Cypress is a large tree that can reach heights of 130 to 200 feet or more. It typically has a narrow conical crown and a straight, tall trunk. The foliage of Chamisa Paris Lawsoniana consists of scale-like leaves that are arranged in flattened sprays. The leaves are typically dark green and have a feathery appearance. Lawson cypress produces small, round cones that are about 0.4 to 0.8 inches in diameter. These cones are often green when young and become brown with age. The bark of Lawson cypress is reddish-brown thin and scaly. It may exfoliate in small strips. This cypress species is native to a variety of habitats in the Pacific Northwest, including moist forests, riverbanks, and coastal areas. It prefers well-drained soils and is often found near streams and rivers. The wood of Chamesa Paris Walsamiana is highly valued for its quality and is used in construction, cabinetry, and boat building. It is known for its straight grain, fine texture, and resistance to decay. Lawson cypress has cultural and historical significance for indigenous peoples of the Pacific Northwest who have used the wood for various traditional purposes. In landscaping, Chamesa Paris Walsamiana is a popular choice for ornamental planting. There are numerous cultivated varieties and cultivars available with various sizes, foliage, colors, and forms, making it an attractive option for gardens and parks. In some areas, particularly in Oregon, loss and cypress populations have faced threats from logging and habitat loss. Conservation efforts are in place to protect and manage these trees and their ecosystems. The wood of loss and cypress has been traded internationally, and it has sometimes been subject to regulations and restrictions to prevent overharvesting. In summary, Chamisa Paris Lawsoniana, the loss and cypress, or Port Orford Cedar, is a tall and attractive coniferous tree native to the Pacific Northwest of North America. It is known for its high-quality wood, ornamental value, and cultural significance in the region. This tree species plays a role in both natural ecosystems and landscaping, where it is appreciated for its beauty and versatility. Aleppo pine, scientifically known as Pinus halepensis, is a species of pine tree native to the Mediterranean region, including parts of southern Europe, North Africa, and Western Asia. It is a resilient evergreen tree known for its adaptability to a red and Mediterranean climates, as well as its use in forestry, landscaping, and various other applications. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Aleppo pine. Aleppo pine is a medium-sized evergreen tree that typically reaches heights of 30 to 60 feet. It has a rounded to irregular crown and a straight, often twisted trunk. The needles of Pinus halepensis are needle-like slender and typically measure 2 to 4 inches in length. They are typically green to grayish green and are arranged in clusters of two needles per fascicle. Aleppo pine produces oval to cylindrical cones that are usually two to four inches long. The cones are typically green when young and turn brown as they mature. They contain pine seeds, which are sometimes harvested for culinary use. The bark of young Aleppo pine trees is smooth, grayish brown, and becomes thicker, scaly, and reddish brown with age. This pine species is native to a range of habitats in the Mediterranean region, including coastal areas, dry and rocky soils, and lowland and hilly regions. 
It is well adapted to hot and dry climates. A buffalo pine plays a role in stabilizing soils and preventing erosion in arid and Mediterranean regions. It is often used in reforestation and afforestation efforts to restore degraded landscapes. While the wood of Aleppo pine is not as highly valued as some other pine species, it is used in construction, carpentry, and as fuel wood. It is known for its straight grain and moderate durability. Aleppo pine has historical significance in the Mediterranean region, where it has been used for various purposes for centuries, including as a source of wood, resin, and pine nuts. Due to its adaptability to arid conditions, and its attractive appearance, Aleppo pine is often planted as an ornamental tree in gardens, parks, and along roadsides in Mediterranean and dry climates. Conservation efforts may involve the protection and management of Aleppo pine, populations particularly in regions where it is at risk, due to habitat destruction and other threats. In summary, Pinus halepensis, the Aleppo pine is a hardy and adaptable pine species native to the Mediterranean region. It is appreciated for its ability to thrive in arid climates, its role in soil conservation, and its use in various applications, including forestry and landscaping. This tree species holds cultural and historical significance in the regions where it is found. Juniperus chinensis, commonly known as Chinese juniper or Chinese juniper, is a species of coniferous evergreen shrub or small tree native to East Asia, particularly China, Japan, Mongolia, and parts of Siberia. It is a versatile plant known for its ornamental value, adaptability, and the aromatic blue-green foliage of some of its cultivars. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Juniperus chinensis. Chinese juniper is a shrub or small tree that varies in size depending on its cultivar and growing conditions. It typically reaches heights of 3 to 30 feet. It has a dense, spreading to upright growth habit. The foliage of Juniperus chinensis consists of needle-like leaves that are arranged in pairs or whorls of three. The leaves are typically dark green to blue-green in color, although there are many cultivars with variations in color and texture. Chinese juniper produces small, berry-like cones that are typically less than 0.5 inches in diameter. These cones are often green when young and mature to a bluish-black or purplish color. The bark of Chinese juniper is thin, reddish-brown to grayish-brown, and they peel or exfoliate in strips. This juniper species is adapted to a variety of habitats, including rocky slopes, grasslands, and open woodlands. It is well-suited to dry, sunny locations and can tolerate a range of soil types. Chinese juniper is widely cultivated for its ornamental value. There are numerous cultivars available, each with distinct features, such as size, shape, foliage, color, and texture. These cultivars are used in landscaping gardens and as evergreen ground covers. Chinese juniper is often planted in gardens and landscapes as an attractive and low-maintenance shrub. It is valued for its ability to provide year-round color and texture in garden designs. In some traditional cultures, the wood and leaves of Juniperus chinensis have been used for various purposes, including for making incense and for their potential medicinal properties. Chinese juniper produces essential oils that are sometimes used in perfumery and aromatherapy. The oil has a woody pine-like aroma. Chinese juniper provides habitat and food for various wildlife species, including birds and small mammals that feed on its cones and seeds. In its native range, Chinese juniper populations may face threats from habitat loss and overharvesting. Conservation efforts may be in place to protect and manage these plants. In summary, Juniperus chinensis. The Chinese juniper is a versatile and ornamental shrub or small tree native to East Asia. Its adaptability, wide range of cultivars, and attractive foliage make it a popular choice in landscaping and gardens. This species also has cultural and potential medicinal uses, and it plays a role in providing habitat for wildlife in its native habitat. Ponderosa pine, scientifically known as Pinus ponderosa, is a large and iconic species of pine tree native to Western North America. It is one of the most widely distributed pine species on the continent and is known for its tall stature, straight trunks, and valuable wood. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the ponderosa pine. Ponderosa pine is a tall, evergreen tree that can reach heights of 100 to 200 feet or more. It has a straight, columnar trunk and a broadly conical crown in its youth, which becomes more irregular with age. The needles of Pinus ponderosa are needle-like slender and typically measure 5 to 10 inches in length. They are typically dark green to yellow green and are arranged in clusters of two or three needles per fascicle. Ponderosa pine produces large egg-shaped cones that are usually three to six inches long. These cones have thick scales with a sharp prickle at the end. The cones contain pine seeds, which are an important food source for various wildlife. The bark of young ponderosa pine trees is dark brown to blackish, and it is divided into large, irregular plates separated by deep furrows. The bark of mature trees becomes thick, reddish brown to cinnamon colored, and deeply furrowed. This pine species is native to a variety of habitats in western North America, including mixed forests, mountainous regions, and grasslands. 
It is often found in drier, well-drained soils. Ponderosa pine wood is highly prized for its quality and is used in construction, cabinetry, furniture making, and a wide range of other applications. It is known for its straight grain, fine texture, and strength. Ponderosa pine is an economically valuable tree species, and it is one of the most important timber resources in Western North America. It is used in the construction of buildings, furniture, and various wood products. Ponderosa pine forests provide habitat and food for a variety of wildlife species, including birds, squirrels, and deer. The seeds are a valuable food source for many animals. Ponderosa pine has cultural and historical significance for indigenous peoples of North America who have used the wood for various traditional purposes. Conservation efforts may involve the protection and management of ponderosa pine populations and the restoration of forest ecosystems. In summary, Pinus ponderosa, the ponderosa pine, is a majestic and economically important pine species native to western North America. It is valued for its high-quality wood, ecological role in supporting wildlife, and cultural significance. This tree species plays a vital role in both natural ecosystems and various human activities, including forestry and construction. Balsam fir, scientifically known as Ibis balsamii, is a species of coniferous evergreen tree, native to North America, particularly in the northeastern and north-central regions of the United States and Canada. It is a medium-sized to large tree known for its aromatic foliage, which releases a pleasant fragrance when crushed, and it is valued for its wood and various other uses. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the balsam fir. Balsam fir is a medium to large evergreen tree that typically reaches heights of 40 to 80 feet, but can occasionally grow taller. It has a narrow spire-like crown and a straight trunk. The needles of Ibis balsamii are needle-like flat and measure about 1 to 1.5 inches in length. They are typically dark green on the upper surface and have two white stomatal bands on the lower surface. Balsam fir produces small, upright cones that are cylindrical and measure up to 2 to 4 inches long. The cones are usually dark purple when young and become brown as they mature. The bark of young balsam fir trees is smooth, grayish brown, and becomes rougher and more scaly with age. It is often marked with resin blisters. This fir species is native to a variety of habitats, including mixed forests, bogs, and mountainous regions. It is often found in cool, moist climates and prefers well-drained soil. Balsam fir wood is lightweight and not as strong as some other coniferous species. It is used for pulpwood, lumber, and various wood products, including plywood, crates, and paper. The needles and resin of balsam fir are highly aromatic and release a pleasant fragrance, often described as balsamic, when crushed. This aroma is utilized in various products, including scented candles, air fresheners, and Christmas wreaths. Balsam fir forests provide habitat for a variety of wildlife species, including birds, squirrels, and bees, deer. The seeds and foliage are an important food source for many animals. Balsam fir has cultural and historical significance, especially in the northeastern United States and Canada, where it is often used for Christmas trees and wreaths during the holiday season. While balsam fir is not considered endangered, conservation efforts may focus on sustainable forestry practices to ensure the health of its population and forest ecosystems. In summary, Ibis balsamii, the balsam fir, is a native coniferous tree to North America known for its aromatic foliage and versatile uses. It plays a role in both natural ecosystems and cultural traditions, and its wood and fragrance are valued in various applications. Japanese yew, scientifically known as Taxus custodata, is a species of evergreen, shrub or small tree native to East Asia, particularly Japan, Korea, and parts of China. It is a versatile plant with dark green foliage, red berries, and various yews, including landscaping and the production of taxol, a compound with medicinal properties. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Japanese yew. Japanese yew is an evergreen shrub or small tree that typically reaches heights of 10 to 30 feet. It has a dense, bushy growth habit and a spreading crown. The foliage of Taxus cuspidata consists of needle-like leaves that are dark green and arranged in a spiral fashion along the stems. The leaves are typically 1 to 2 inches long. Instead of traditional cones, Japanese yew produces small fleshy and seed-bearing structures known as arils. These arils are red and encase a single seed. The seeds are highly toxic. The bark of Japanese yew is reddish-brown and becomes rough and scaly with age. This yew species is native to a variety of habitats in East Asia, including forests, mountainous regions, and riverbanks. It prefers well-drained soils. Japanese yew is commonly planted in landscaping and gardens as an attractive evergreen shrub or small tree. It is appreciated for its dense foliage and ability to tolerate pruning and shaping. All parts of the Japanese yew plant, except the fleshy arils, are highly toxic. Ingesting any part of the plant can be lethal, and care should be taken to prevent accidental consumption, especially by children and pets. Japanese yew contains the compound Paxil, which has been used in cancer treatment due to its anti-cancer properties.
Taxol is extracted from the bark of the tree and is used in chemotherapy for various cancer types. Some populations of Japanese yew are at risk. Due to habitat loss and over-harvesting for taxol production, conservation efforts may focus on sustainable harvesting and preservation of natural populations. Japanese yew has cultural and historical significance in the region, where it is native, and it has been used in traditional medicine and rituals. The wood of Japanese yew is not commonly used due to its toxicity. However, it has been used for crafting small items and as a source of firewood. In summary, Toxus custodata, the Japanese yew, is an evergreen shrub or small tree native to East Asia. It is known for its attractive foliage and red orals, but is highly toxic and caution should be exercised when handling or planting it. Japanese yew has medicinal importance due to the compound taxol and is used in landscaping and traditional practices in its native regions.